Never thought I'd be praising pockets of poop. But that's where we're at right now. I've got some uh I've got some fish here, so let's let's just let's do it. Today we've got the Icone. Icone? I don't know how to pronounce that. Smoked oysters. I'm really liking the box here. We've got something on the inside. Uh, there you go. A little bit of print on the inside. Uh, this tin holds a labor of love. Operated by five generations of Pacific Northwest shellfish farmers, we're a family-owned cannery devoted to bringing you handcrafted seafood using the freshest ingredients. Our seafood is farm-raised in our family tradition or wild caught in the USA. Our seafood is farm-raised in our family tradition or wild caught in the USA. Okay, I read that correctly. We harvest and can at the product's peak, preserving its flavor and nutrients so you can pop a tin whenever you please. Take the tide with you. I like that message. That's pretty that's pretty cool. Family owned and operated. Pretty plain can. And you know, I've I've had oysters only once in my life. And it was when I was living in California in the Bay Area. And somebody in the area that I was living in was having a grill and they had some fresh oysters that they had just gotten that day. And I didn't like the fresh oysters. Who knows, maybe tinned or uh, maybe canned oysters will be better than fresh oysters. I don't know. Just making sure I got some paper towels on hand, just in case. You know, just in case. I can kind of smell them already. Here we are. interesting. Backside has the uh, classic vaginal resemblance that's often associated with oysters. I don't know. That's 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 kind of hard. We'll see, we'll see how that eats. You know, I just want to do a little bit of exploration. All right, so that one has the piece in the middle as well. So it, it must be something that's okay to eat. So let's let's go for it. Down the hatch. They're a little bit funky, but not in a terrible way. I really like the smoke forward on these. There's there's a there's a lot of smoke in these. I'm digging the smoke. I, I'm 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 not sure how I feel about the texture, but I'm really digging the smoke. Um, I dare say I think that I like the texture a little bit more than fresh oysters. Let's let's give another one here a try. All right, there's a little bit of grit with that one. A little bit of grit, but nothing that is terribly concerning. Tapatio and Ritz. I 
Here we go. Oddly enough, I can almost kind of dig it, and I know that essentially these are pockets of poop. Never thought I'd be praising pockets of poop. But that's where we're at right now. I don't know how I feel about myself with that. But hey, these pockets of poop aren't that bad. Let's uh let's let's try the next one with some tap with some uh Cholula. Does Cholula work with seafood? Oysters, clams, mussels, cockles. Oysters, clams, and cockles! <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. At least, we'll find out what I think about it. Do my opinions align with your taste buds? I have no idea. And you have no idea. Unless I say I don't like something and you like it. <laughs> then we're on two different pages, but at least we're on the same page about how we feel. Here's some Cholula. Let's go for it. I'm really digging the spice. I like the spice of the Cholula more, but I like the flavor of the Tapatio more. If I could get Tapatio with the Cholula spice, I think that would be on point for me, personally. It's just a fight. Doesn't need a cracker. I'm gonna start breaking into the cheese now. He's got a really nice smoke to him, but um, a little more smoke never hurts, right? Who doesn't like a little more smoke? Even when it's smoky. Here we go. Anyone that sees my previous videos knows that Tapatio with smoked English cheddar is my jam. So, we're gonna jump right into that. Here we go. Oh shit. I dribbled on my map. Oh well. That got really chalky, really fast. The, the smokiness was on point with my flavor profile. I really like the added smoke. I love a lot of smoke. But I think this cheese is too hard. I don't know. Oh shit. I, I, I guess oysters in general are pretty big, aren't they? So... Alright, let's, let's just grab one. We'll throw some cheese on there. There was a really weird texture there. That was really hard to describe. I don't know if it's due to the innards of the oysters combined with the cheese, maybe they're two similar textures, and so it was just kind of a chalky cheesiness overload. I, I don't know. Uh, last one was with Tapatio. Let's try this one with some Cholula. So, two things happening at once with that taste, and it seems like adding cheese makes it harder to swallow. I think the stuff inside of the oysters, which 
deep down we all know it's poop. Okay, let's let's stop sugarcoating it. When we're eating oysters, we're just eating flesh-filled pockets of poop, right? I think the chalkiness of that poop with the chalkiness of the cheese. That's just too much chalkiness for one person to handle. Holy crap. Gotta find a way to cut into that poop. Make it easier to swallow. All right, we got three pretty freaking big pieces left here. Holy crap. I don't know how I feel about that. They're definitely not going with cheese. Cheese and oysters is a bad idea okay people cheese and oysters bad idea you're never going to be able to swallow it it is going to take you ages to get all of that chalkiness down just maybe if you were using a creamy cheese but i think cheese and oysters is too much now what about this uh Tabasco scorpion pepper sauce. That smells rancid. Y'all think that's enough? Scorpion pepper? Or do I need a little more? Maybe I need a little more spice in my life. Let's, uh, let's spice that baby up a little bit more. Yeah? Here we go. Nice and healthy douse. No reaction. If you know, you know. So in this can, we've got... We've got two oysters left. I'm gonna save those two. Eat them later tonight, because we gotta keep on moving. I've got another can here. The, uh... Nuri. Spice sardines in olive oil. Ooh. All right. Gnarly on both sides and just cook through perfectly, right? All right, guys. Are the Nuri's all really all they're made out to be? I can immediately see these are larger than any sardine I've eaten yet. I don't know how I feel about that. So these these Nuri's they're 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 falling right apart. See that? As soon as I as on both sides. So we've got we we we've got two big fish right on the top there. 
and immediately when I try to lift this one up. You see that right there? It's immediately, yeah, it just split on me in three different sections. This one here, immediately breaking apart right up in there. If you want a nice clean fish, I can tell you right now, this is not the one for you. These are looking like they're going to be big and messy. I, I, I'm still going to try to salvage this one. You can see as I pull it up. It's starting to break apart. Right in there. So maybe if I approach it from the other angle, I can salvage that little bit of thread that it's holding on to. Nope, oh, it's gone. It's gone. Watch this. Yep, it just fell right apart. I never claimed to be a professional. I'm just here to eat it. Alright. This is the first sardine I've had where I'm able to pull the entire spine. There you go. Little bit of wriggly diggly action going on for ya. Okay. Let's wriggle and diggle about for you psychopaths out there as an absolute heathen. Here we go. I completely missed it and flung it forward right onto my desk there. <laughs> I promise that wasn't intentional. Here we go. When I bite into it, it's got plenty of give on my tongue. It's between pop rocks, which are all separated, that are trying to be like a stick of rock candy that's barely holding together. No carbonation. And the taste is that of whatever is surrounding it. I don't know. I'm not seeing the Nuri hype, everyone. I, I personally think I personally feel like the Fangst bristling number one. I feel like those are a little more easy and a little more luscious. I feel like the Fangst were just more on point than the Nuri's with that first fish. Let's let's get some condiments going on here. All right, this can's looking like a hot mess already. Everything about them, like as soon as I started to touch them, they were falling apart. The fish, very tender, tastes like a bait fish. 
that spine is something else. I don't know, man. I just don't think I'm digging the nurries. Let's throw on some of that cheese. Let's throw on a bit of that fish. Let's throw on some tapatio. Bristling number ones were a lot better in my opinion. See, I just tried to pull another one up, fell apart. They're just completely falling apart. This this little fillet right here, as soon as I pull it up, it's gonna fall apart. See that? So if anything, at least these sardines are a reminder that my life isn't falling apart quite so bad. Mush. Sadness. Yeah, the meat is tender as hell, but the spines are hard as f Will there ever be a sardine with perfect balance? I don't know. So far the fangst is leading the race though. The, this makes me sad. Have a good night.